To get the most out of this lesson, students will need the guided video notes. You can download this and all the extension activities using the link in the description. 102978.1499.7852 Are you sure they didn't misplace the decimal point? Catherine did manage to calculate a few decimal points further than that hunk of metal. Although, in fact, there is an error in the eighth decimal place. The difference between pi to the third decimal point and pi to the 15th decimal point. I must have put a decimal point in the wrong place or something. Decimals. You've heard the word before, but what is a decimal number? Well, a decimal is really just another way to show a fraction. This little dot right here is a decimal point. Any number to the left of this dot is a whole number. This 1 represents one whole. Any number to the right of this dot is a decimal. For example, the decimal in this number, 24, represents 24 hundredths. 24 hundredths written as a decimal is the same as 24 hundredths written as a fraction. As you can see, they show the exact same amount. To get a better idea of how decimals represent fractions, let's look at some real-world examples. Let's say your phone has 83% of its battery left. That's actually a fraction. And it would be written like this as a decimal. They are just two ways to show the same value. And if your character in a video game has 4 out of 10 health points left, that's a fraction of 4 tenths. And as a decimal, this is what 4 tenths looks like. Let's use money for our last example. If a piece of candy costs 75 cents, that's actually a decimal number. Or in other words, it's a fraction of one dollar. Based on these examples, let's try converting a few fractions to decimals. Try to write the first three fractions as decimals on your guided notes page. Good luck! Nice work. Here are those fractions written as decimals. In this video, we will look at decimals that contain tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Let's say we have a five in the tenths place. This means we have five tenths. In this picture, our one whole is broken up into tenths. So this decimal represents one, two, three, four, five tenths. Now say we have a five in the hundredths place. This means we have five hundredths. Now our one whole is broken up into 100 pieces. So this decimal represents one, two, three, four, five hundredths. Finally, let's imagine we have a five in the thousandths place. Our one hole is now broken up into 1,000 pieces. Each thousandth piece is so tiny. This is what five thousandths looks like. If we put these decimals next to each other to compare them, we can see that the values get smaller and smaller as the number moves further to the right of the decimal point. To be exact, hundredths are ten times larger than thousandths, and tenths are ten times larger than hundredths. We often need to compare decimal numbers with one another. Beginners can often get confused with decimal numbers 
because at first a decimal like this one can look larger than a decimal like this one. But let's take a moment to visualize the fractions that these represent. Here, we can see that 3 tenths is actually more than 245 thousandths. To make it a little more clear, let's convert our 3 tenths to thousandths. I know it can be a little confusing at first, so let's play a game to try and get a better understanding of this idea. On your guided notes, you can see eight different groups that contain two blank spaces with a circle in between them. Here's what we are going to do with them. I'm going to show you two decimal values. First, write down the decimal numbers in each blank space. Then, decide if the first decimal is greater than, less than, or equal to the second one. See if you can correctly compare the decimals before I reveal the answers. We will begin with the example I just showed you in spots A and B. Good luck. Two tenths is greater than eighteen hundredths. Time for C and D. Write down the decimals and then compare them. Seventy four hundredths is greater than seven tenths. Now moving on to E and F. Six tenths is greater than four hundred and seventy five thousandths. Next up, we will compare G and H. Ah, don't let this one trick you. These decimals actually represent the same amounts. All right, moving on to I and J. If we look closely, we can see that 860 thousandths is less than 9 tenths. Next up, we have L and K. Eighty-three hundredths is greater than six-tenths. Only two left. Let's compare M and N. These two decimals represent the exact same amount. Okay, here's the last one. Time for O and P. As you can see, eight hundredths is less than three tenths. 
Nice job. Time for a little decimal dance. Sorry, that got a little crazy for a second. Anyway, with your new skills, you're now ready to move on to the challenge page. Or maybe you'd like to chat about some questions using the discussion slides. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.